Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we are gonna be peeling back the onions of time all the way back to the early 2000s with another retro as seen on TV item. Today, you guys, we got the bump -its. There was like a whole time period in which it was extremely fashionable to just have a peculiar bump on your head. I feel like in the early 2000s in particular, it was extreme and it was mostly like not in the front of your hair, but like the front of your hair would be sort of like parted and smoothed down, whether you had bangs or not. And then the back would just be mysterious bump, bump it land. And bump it was something that I nearly purchased many, many, many times. It, it's on Amazon. It was available on Amazon. Although I have to say, I think that I got this from like a third party seller, like weird kind of situation because it looks like there is a price tag that was at some point ripped off. And also the box just, that's not supposed to be like that, Betty. What we have here is the set of three blonde. Oh my God. No, no, no. Okay. Ew. Oh, it's still wrapped. Beautiful. We have the set of three blonde bumpets. So I think that they always advertised, you know what, I'm about to watch the infomercial. I'm sure it's on YouTube, but I think that they had three sizes. And I think, I swear they called this one the baby bumpet. <laughs> Which, what can this possibly do to one's hair? I mean, maybe if you are a baby, you could give your baby a, a snooky hairstyle. Anything was possible in the early 2000s, folks. Here is like the normal sized bump it. You see it, it's almost like disappearing into the backdrop as if it has some sort of Harry Potter witch magic. Can you see this? Also, I'm like, can you see this? And then we got the grandpapa of bumpets. Yes. If you want to, I don't know. Is this gonna get you a boyfriend? That's probably the sort of ish I believed in the early 2000s. If only I had a bumpet, I'd be the fairest of them all. Mummy, can I have a bumpet, please? And we have rat tail comb, which honestly is probably the most valuable thing out of this box because I have been needing a rat tail comb. All of my needs are being met today in one video. Double bumpets, French twist bumpets, updo bumpets, pony bow bumpet, half bumpet. This is the goal. This is what we're trying to look like today. So let me go ahead and get the posturing. How do normal people smile? I need to study that. I'm trying to smile how they smile on the TV. She also has good posture. I feel like I don't have that. I think we've had enough smile lessons. Let's take down this magnificent mane, which I feel like I'm almost on the cusp of having to rewash it. And then I'm just gonna immediately recrimp it. Cause you guys, this is my new hair now. I can't stop and I won't stop crimping my hair. The more you tease, the bigger and smoother the bump. Use aerosol hairspray. Use medium hold hairspray while working with bump bits. Insert and then finish with firm hold hairspray. Are they serious? Seriously, like use two types of hairspray? Get a load of this one, folks. Be sure hair over bump it's insert is not pulled too tight or it will look unnatural. Yeah, cause literally ever having this amount of hair bumped up. How does that look natural? Let's bump. Does this just stay in my head? Can I go in a mosh pit now? <laughs> oh my God, it does. No, it's there, right? Do you see what I'm saying? This is some witchcraft, okay? But it is there. <laughs> I've got a bump it. What happens if I just flump it over the bump it? See, that could have been their slogan. Look at that. My God. What is that? Does that look natural? I feel like it's pretty smooth. And look at that. No hairspray. No hairspray at all. Also, this does look shockingly like the Dirty Dr. Quinn hairstyle I used to do just not all that long ago. I wish I could whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I wanted to just um do like a little quickie where I show you guys like the three drastically different bumpets. Now this is little, I'm a little normal bumpet, yes. These do have like staying power, but also my hair is cramped. Anything would stick to my hair right now is basically what I should be saying. Okay, that's like 
literally nothing. That is nothing. That's like just my hair on a normal day. <laughs> my god, you guys, this video is like self-discovery and acknowledgement that I am a person that still bumps it. I've been bumping it without a bump it this whole time and I never knew. It does look good though. Okay, get out. Now this is baby bump it, which this is just like for comedic purposes, I guess. I'm just gonna try and nestle that. Ooh, that's like a painful yet effective scalp massage. Okay, this has to be for infants, right? Nothing. That's literally nothing. But look at that. If I just flip my hair over, I can bump it with no bump it. Look at that, guys. Bump it. No bump it. Bump it. No, but oh my god. Plus, have you guys seen the tongue thing? Okay, now I do just at all times have an under chin waddle. I'm like a magical majestic turkey. I got this going on. That was my gobble, by the way. So there's this trick where you're supposed to make your face look like instantly slimmer by like doing some weird tongue stuff. You sit like this and your chin looks like a chin, I'm sure. And then you go like this. See, I feel like I'm also like posturing. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to like, but I don't notice any change. I'm gonna go get some hairpins. We're gonna watch a little bit of the Bump It video and we're gonna try and do the weird stuff. Do you go through a can of hairspray trying to get that full volumized look? Then bump it up. Do you go through a can of hairspray? Has anybody ever done that? The style looks fast and easy. Buffets are the incredible self-gripping hair accessory. Self-gripping! Oh, okay, so it is supposed to self-grip whether your hair is crimped or not. Interesting. Now they do have jagged little teeth. They're little arrows. Oh my god, it's so cute. That is horrible. What I'm gonna do here is try and create one of these gorgeous styles that they've done where they sort of have like this section in the front. So I'm gonna just peel this back and pin it behind my ear. I already hate it, thanks. I am now realizing I must bump my hair all the time because I just don't like my hair to be like smooth or flat. It really enrages me. And so even like smoothing down, which it's not even smooth because it's crimped. So it still has like volume and texture to it. But even like smoothing it down right here in the front, I look like I'm like a tennis wife. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna take this in the back and first we're gonna flump it and then we're gonna bump it and we're gonna go with granddaddy bump it because the rest of them like literally don't even do anything. I'm gonna back comb this even though I literally do not need to. I am just destroying my hair. I'm just gonna see if everyone has the innate ability to bump it. Can I just like not really fully read the instructions but just bump it? Let's see what kind of horrific mess this makes. My God. I need more than one bump it. One bump it is not enough, okay? Cause this is just a hair hump. It's not a full bump, it's a hump. It's like you would still have to really tease the remaining sides, I feel like, or I just have a really big head. I don't know what's going on here, but it's like, yes, I do have gorgeous volume right here in the middle with granddaddy bump it, but the side is just flat. Right? Let's see if I'm going from flat to fabulous. I feel like they really should have made it more of like a headband. You know, like how much would it have cost them to make this like an extra, you know, four inches in length? Why doesn't it look, mine does not look, mine still kind of looks flat. I don't feel like I went from flat to fabulous, you guys. I kind of went from fabulous to freaky, in my own opinion. Maybe I didn't tease it enough. What happens if I just, <gasps> ooh, now that's the volume I'm looking for, folks. <laughs> yeah, see, that's fabulous. But my hair is not touching the bump it, you know, like I just did that. The bump it didn't do that, I did that. You know what, maybe it's because I'm not doing the smile. Wait, how does she look? Do I look like that? No. See, they all have like smooth hair. Nobody has like fabulous crimped hair and then bumps it. Maybe I smooth too much in the front. This looks terrible. Why can't I be like the pretty girls, mommy? Although I don't think I want to look like this. Okay. Is that what we're going for? Look, okay, maybe it'll be better if I try the smile. Here we go. 
Let's see what else I can bump. Bump it. I'm gonna do a bump it. Oh, they did a bump it pony. Maybe that's what I need to do. You know what? No, we're gonna consult the video. I'm a professional here. Be a stylist. Simply part your hair at the crown, give a little tease, insert bump it, fluff it up, and you're ready to go. Just look at the difference. Amazing. I'd rather so not. Sexy, elegant, sexy. casual, sassy, flirty, and fabulous. Styling hair can take forever and it just falls I want to be sexy and sassy and, and fabulous. Set up two for just $9.99. Choose from light blonde, medium blonde, brunette, or black. You'll also get two mini bumpets free. Use the minis to bump your bangs or bump a ponytail. And we'll even give you the taller Hollywood bumpets. It's perfect. You guys. I was robbed. I was supposed to get so many more bumpets. Cause I honestly, that was like my fantasy. I thought I was gonna pull out two bumpets of equal sizing today. So I literally wanted to try and do my hair with the bumpet today and fully just wear a bumpet all day. But I kind of thought I could do like two bumpet front. You know, I wanted I wanted to go for that like Dracula look. You know, two big bra bumpets in the front and I can't even do that. I was supposed to get one big granddaddy, two normies, and two little mini baby bumpets, which this is honestly like, why would you ever put this in your hair? It doesn't do anything. Cause they say bump your bangs, but that is not a bump you guys. Like I could just do that and get a higher bump. Look, I just bumped it. I bumped it with nothing. All right, I'm gonna try and do a bump it ponytail and then we are gonna have bumped our last bump and I'm gonna try and put it more towards the front. Bump it. Also, I kind of have doubts that it would remain concealed in your hair all day. Like if your hair was like very straight, like the infomercial shows a lot of people with what seems to be like very fine straight hair, I think that you would see bits of plastic because I'm not gonna lie after my last little bump it thing there, whatever we would call that last style, I could still feel a little bit of plastic on the back. Now granted, it's the back of your hair, which just literally whoever cares about that. Like the back of your hair is just like, why do you ever look at the back of someone's hair? It's not, I mean, unless they have like a magical braid style or something, but if not, okay, nothing good is ever going on in the back of anyone's head. That's a good style. That was really off key. I definitely regret singing that. So here we go. Okay, that just looks like me on a regular day. It's still, it looks pretty good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. That went from flat to fabulous. Oh God. I started out making fun of this product and now I'm suggesting that I seriously start using it. I don't need it though. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a piece of plastic adhered to my head is like basically what I'm saying. But it does, it does kind of, it does kind of look fabulous, doesn't it? Oh my God. All right, you guys. Well, we've bumped it, I think, as far as we can bump it for one day. Print it on the box. It does say you get one small, one medium, and one large. So I did get everything that was meant to be included in the box. So maybe that was just like some super special as seen on TV offer that was not available in stores. So you better call now. But yeah, I don't know. I wish I had been given like two bumpets because I feel like I could have just really bumped it. Some of the styles that they suggest is that you could like double bump it. Like I guess put the smaller bump it in the front and then the bigger bump it in the back that's too much bumping we don't need that many we don't need that many bumps so uh anyway you guys you have to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and this I, if i'm gonna be honest this is the kind of stuff that i miss i feel like like what is a style now that is like this that is like super trendy where they are like marketing products. Like I just feel like this kind of stuff just doesn't exist anymore and I don't know why. Are there not any like fads right now? Like I feel like I just don't see people like doing like a super different style, I don't know. I don't even know if what I'm saying right now makes sense. <laughs> but it's like, I don't feel like there's anything like uniquely going on right now that like you can very easily look at it and be like, oh my God, in five years, like this style is gonna be so cringe but maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe there's something out there and I can't think of it right now. So if you can think of like a cringy fad that's going on right now, <laughs> just 
leave it, leave it in the comments down below. Or maybe it's not cringy right now, but in five years we'll think it's cringy. Just leave, I don't know, comment some cringe down below if this video wasn't enough cringe for you already today. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be at the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!